Because if she, if you ask a woman, would you let your man have another, have another woman? She'd be like, hell no. But if you ask that same woman, if she's being honest with her friends, would you be with that your favorite stupid superstar or movie star on stage, even though he has a wife or a girlfriend? She'd say, yeah. Well, why is it that she'd be with that famous dude who has a wife or a girlfriend, but wouldn't let her man be with another woman? Because she finds that dude on stage more valuable. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. And, and, and. That kind of break it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that break it down. But you know, it ain't even about the the title. It's about being a man, standing on your principles, giving a bitch the option, let her choose and refuse what you're saying, man. How could you be a player? How could you be a man and you sneaking around your house like a little broad? Skip, you paying the bills, but you can't do what you want to do. You lying and sneaking around. Come on, man. That's not being a man. Be a player. Be a man. Let that woman know, hey, listen, this is what it is. Hey, baby, if you want to mess with me, I'm going to mess with you. But I'm going to do what I do when I feel like doing it. Are you with that? Yes or no? Rather than getting with the woman, acting like it's going to be like this. And then you're going to go do this. And then you mash your key up your car. Well, use a fraud. Now, I'm not saying it's right, but you didn't give her an option. You think she would have keyed your car if you'd have told her from the gate you was going to do what you want? Do? No, she couldn't be mad at it because you let her choose and refuse. And you'd be surprised how many women would get with it if you just kept it real. You know, that's all we're saying is just keep it real. Understand when you got value, you make the rules, right? Listen, this is what uh, uh, Dre said this once, right? A woman believes she's more valuable because if she, if you ask a woman, would you let your man have another, have another woman? She'd be like, hell no. But if you ask that same woman, if she's being honest with her friends, would you be with that your favorite stupid superstar or movie star on stage, even though he has a wife or a girlfriend, she say, yeah. Well, why is it that she'd be with that famous dude who has a wife or a girlfriend, but wouldn't let her man be with another woman? Because she finds that dude on stage more valuable, right? So everything breaks down to value and a dude just has to recognize his value. But you can't have value if you lying to a woman because that means you're scared of her. And if you're scared of her, you don't have no value. So you're doing things every day to devalue yourself and your woman. You wonder why she got attitude because you lying, you sneaking around, you doing things that's not respectable therefore she don't respect you therefore you don't have no value what if you catch one of them girls you know out of your 10 15 uh concubines uh <laughs> cheating on you what if you catch one of them cheating what, what do you do well i mean she gone that's you know she can do whatever she want to do if that's what you want to do you can do that but you gone and she know that so it's like i'm not worried about it you know she come she come through the front door looking for a way out the back door when you understand that man it's not like these dudes be worried oh man where did i go wrong man you ain't do nothing wrong man you could have been a perfect man in the world a woman gonna do what she gonna do right but guess what you can't be mad at it i don't have a a a, a negative pessimistic look at women it's like having a car. You got a nice car. One day this car ain't going to be mine. And I know that. But I don't treat it like shit when I got it just because I know somebody else going to have it later. When it's my car, I wash it every day. I clean it out. I make sure it's great. We, we take good trips together. And when it's time to give up the keys to another man, I give it up to him. And I have fond memories of that car. You know, these dudes, it's either one way or the other. They love the woman too much or they hate women altogether. Man, I love women. But I just understand what it really is. Yo, do you, um, man, um, when you think about just ooh, ooh, your first girlfriend, do you remember? Yeah, I do. What was that like for 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 Goldie? Man, it was it was. Yeah, sad. Come on, let's talk about that first one. See that was, first one. It was sad. That's man. the one. That, that's the one that, that you know. You be like, damn. You know, I remember. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I caught a stomach ache, but I don't even know. It, but my stomach wasn't hurting. <laughs> I, it was bad, man. Like she, she had nothing hurt me, man. It, it, I was 13, 14 years old, balled up. <laughs> I went through the same thing. <laughs> I went through the same thing. Man, I went through the same thing, man. I think we all did. Because we were trying to figure it out. We yeah, thought we, were gonna, we, we thought it was what it would portray to be. you go through, you man, go through. That, right? Let, let me yeah, tell you, let me tell through, you about you my, my, one of my first girlfriend, man. And this is why you need a man in your life. Because she tricked me into being her boyfriend. You know, we was, you know, we was getting down, you know, having sex. My first little piece of pussy, you know, pussy on the man. Oh, that shit is like crack when you first hit it, right? Nobody let me know, man. Sex is like crack when you first get it. And she was like, listen, if we gonna keep doing this, you got to be my boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, pussy on the man. All I got to do is say I'm her boyfriend. Bet we girlfriend and boyfriend. If I would have had somebody around me tell me, hey, no, nah, you don't you don't accept that. You tell her, all right, well, we done. Nine times out of ten, she probably would have came and fucked with me anyway. But I knew it was characteristics that was not going to be conducive to a good relationship. But anyway, I fell for the, for the hook, line, and singer. Fuck with her, and it was nothing but problems from that day forward. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you, kid? Give it up. Oh, well, you know, it's a young lady, man. You know, uh, my situation is a little bit different. So, 
you know, I'm trying to be, you know, I, I used to steal, you know, so I go steal stuff and I give her some of the stuff I stole. Like, here, mommy, you know what I'm saying? And I stole these rings, you know, you want a ring? You know, I give my partner's rings, I give everybody rings in the hood, you know. And I thought this bro really liked me, so uh, I goes over her house one day, and when I tell you this dude, he about 29, he busting it, man. She screaming. I said, she don't scream like that when she was there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? That's all, man. I ain't put it down right. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I, he, he knocking her lines out. You know? So I'm mad, man. And, you know, it just turned me into a whole other person. Like you said, you know, it wasn't a stomach ache, but it was yeah, like. It was like something was right, it, man. It was like, it was like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, you know, I think what you go through, I think I think that everything that a man do in life, the good steps of a man are ordered by the creator. That's right. You know what yeah. what I mean, I think that, you know, a lot of people think things that just happen. Nothing just happened. There's no coincidence. There's no accidents. Everything that happened according to the law. I'll give you a prime example. If you were... Uh, vacationing, right, you and your wife, and y'all was in the log cabinet, and you had your dog with you, and y'all, the log cabinet was a, a, a below a big old mountain, and then all of a sudden, sun come down, and it hits through the roof of the mount, uh, the, roof, the roof of the log cabinet, hit your dog, and it instantly kill him. Well, that's the law. Over a succession period of rain, falls and it just keep continuous rain. The rock softened. And then when the rock came down, it didn't just come down, it came down on the auspices or under the, 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 the guidance of gravitational pull. And every time something comes from a higher place, what gravity does, it increases the speed. And that, that, that rock became a projectile, hit that dog in the head, killed that dog, and that was happening according to the law. Mm, you know, yeah. God is a scientist. What you mean, Kent? You know, you're talking religion? No. What I'm saying is that we are breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon and mi carbon monoxide, mm -hmm. you know, poisonous, right? So if we had to breathe in the poison, we would die. But what happens is because of the ultraviolet rays of the sun, which beams down on the trees, it allows the trees to get oxygen, and that oxygen is emitted you know, into the universe or into into the orbit. And that ain't the only thing happening, you know what I'm saying, according to the law. It's also a thing called precipitation and condensation. So as, 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 as it rains, right, you know what I'm saying, it's going into the ocean. But when it comes up, that's precipitation. It comes down, that's condensation. And that rain is going and raining on those trees, also allowing to provide oxygen. That's why you ain't gonna never go in no city and it's not gonna be trees because those trees are very essential to the human existence. And so that's how law works. Yeah. You know, gravity, everything, and also the law of man. You know, men go through certain principles and do certain things in life and those things shape that man. Yeah, no, that's real. My, my female, listen, I'm gonna tell you like this, right? It never felt right. My first girlfriend, that entire situation never felt right. Me sneaking around, lying to her, going to the club, having a different, at the time, I think it was uh, MySpace, having a second MySpace, having a second phone. Like, I knew I wasn't living right, but that's just what I saw. That's what you're supposed to do. So when my uncle, who was a player, moved down the street, and I seen him living a different way, doing what he want, how he want, with a bunch of different females, it broke my paradigm, and that's what we out here doing. I'm trying to break the paradigm of what you think you had to do. Y'all all living by this sad-ass life with the happy wife, happy life bullshit, and all happy king and not a guy damn thing y'all living by the living quiet lives of desperation because you've been programmed by society and what i'm trying to do is break the paradigm and let you know you got value and let me show you your value and you can live like this too or however you see fit and it don't got to be the way you've been programmed because when he came down the street to change my paradigm and i said i'm never going to lie i'm never lying to abroad i'm never not doing what i want to do and i've been free ever since you know and i say this like this right it all comes down to value look at your value strip that woman down what is she really why are you valuing her so much when you really look at most women Take the weave, the hair, the makeup, the eyelashes, the eyeliner, the BBL, the, the, the fake titties. Strip her all the way down. Most of these women is not 10, 10 top 10 bras. You know what I'm saying? So what are you coveting so much that you devaluing yourself and putting her up on this pedestal? You got to have x-ray vision like me and Ken got. When we look at a woman, we can size her up. Because like I say all the time, we, Ken knows how to put a, pig, a wig on a pig, right? Which means he knows how to dress a woman up to get some money. Which means we know how to take that down mentally. So when I look at a woman, I just take it down. And when you take that down, that conversation goes way different it definitely goes way different and you got to be a person that understand that when you're looking at somebody 
I never looked at a woman from the exterior more than I looked at a heart. I can't stay Facts. with you if you ain't right. Facts. You got to have something in there. Yeah. That's one thing I always tell people. It's a difference, man. You know, women, you know, at the end of the day, there's different statues and different different levels. I guess, you know, you, mine got to pray with me and all kind of stuff. It's a lot of stuff yeah. you got to do with me. Man, she it's going to be hard for you to with be me. with me. Gym you can't, with me. We can't do, we got to, we got to do a lot together. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.